All right, let's get to the final game of Clash for Team Blue versus Team Poo. Lucky enough, Team Blue actually did get blue side against this, which is typically favorable for most players. Now, as we get into the game, uh, let's talk about both teams' uh, drafts and comps and their both styles. So both teams pretty have strong AD carries and strong uh, bot laners. Uh, we're going to follow player four for this one. Uh, for the jungler, Lamashu, at least here. Uh, both teams have strong top laners and AD carries. That's how far both teams have gone in. And uh, both teams have stomped their opponents for their first and second clash game for the most part. But um, Blue did have to struggle it out and have to play an extremely close game. And I've noticed that their objective control is actually pretty lackluster they've given a lot of drakes and prefer kills um at the same time though while they both kind of play the same style team poo has played the same comp for game one and two which they got banned out for game three so they might not be feeling as comfortable here uh on the other side though we have to take note that if we look at the comps here i i i don't i prefer ugh, i don't know it's like i prefer team blues comp here just because their team fighting is more focused i mean both comps aren't that great because they're both uh it's like protect the kongma comp but it's not really they don't really have the best champions for it but on the other side you have to question uh, why the Ramus and why the Malzahar? Malzahar isn't really going to be catching out anybody, while uh, at the same time, Ramus isn't really going to like you pick Ramus for an all AD comp, and you, we have MF support probably and Ch uh, Cho'Gath, right? So you kind of have to question why they picked the Ramus here. Plus, Kogma does percentage health, so it makes less sense. So it's kind of almost like a waste pick. On the other hand, thankfully though, they do have a Trinidad Trinidad is the, one of the best split pushers in the game. And nobody on Team Blue really has anybody to stop him. Cho'Gath is just going to fall off later and he can't really hold the Trinidad down. Uh, both junglers have now switched to their topside jungle. Uh, but at least has vision at least of when to see Ramus coming into his uh, red buff. So as we go to the game, oh, what's going on in the top lane? Now, Trindamir is apparently getting the wave. Uh, he's pushing the wave towards the Cho'Gath. Is kind of not too sure, just because it's he, he, his goal is to survive. He got cannon at least. In the bot lane, though, uh, the it, it's no surprise that Kogma MF is pushing the Brahmin Twitch, um, just because obviously the MF has a huge presence in lane. But we'll have to see where this goes because the top lane and the bot lane are the focal points and the junglers will decide how which lane will uh, pair off. Uh, now looking at it, uh, Elise and Rems are now fighting for the scuttle and right side honestly should have the advantage on this just because that Trindamir has the lane and he's actually coming right now. Oh, I he burns smite, flashes, gets the taunt on the Elise. Elise jumps up in the air. Uh, flashes out. Trinidad really can't get anything out of this. He did burn ghosts though. And uh, Elise is out, but she did have to burn flash. So what does that mean for Ramus? What can he get out of it? He's checking the comps. If he checks those, he'll notice that wolves are available to take. Uh, we'll just see how everybody's CS is going. It's kind of mixed match. Let me see if I can fix that uh, for this tournament. Let's fix that right here. There we go. So Cho'Gath uh, is winning in CS, but he did slightly shove the wave just because uh, Trinibur had to help. Okay, now we have Rambus now ganking. Oh, good flash with the Lux though, actually. It was very necessary. If she didn't, she also had no mana, so she couldn't really get much out of it uh, if she were to fail. But uh, right now, honestly, Team Poo is... Uh, uh, winning this game right now. I mean, I know they're 2k down, but the Trinidad just got the wave, just met the wave, and he's good enough. He should know to freeze the wave here, leaving this lane perma push. The gold is now about even. 
Uh, but more importantly, it's about the camps because right now, at least doesn't have too many cams. Rem Remus is about to do another full clear potentially. Nah, he's, yeah, he might gank bot just because the lane's pushed. But they are backing compared to at least who really doesn't really have any options here because Triton kind of froze the wave in the top lane. He can't. She can't gank there. Mouse are just backed. Oh, I just noticed what why has Malzahar gotten cleansed he it's his pa it's in his passive honestly at that he should have gone in something more like an ignite just to guarantee some kills a barrier or anything else but oh here Trinomir is going in on this I don't think he can kill this honestly he's not getting any crits there's the crits okay there's oh good f he got the flash out of the Cho'Gath he's now taking control of the lane he should now be fo focusing to push this lane really quick but uh, he should know Cho'Gath has uh, teleport so he's not gonna get too much out of it but let's see, just check the other lanes right now Mouse Heart is down in CS a little bit but it's a wave a little bit pushing so that's no matter I think now we're noticing how the, the Trinity Bear is slowly taking control of the lane even though he's not supposed to be winning this early but it's just on, on the other hand though we have Twitch and Braum here kind of losing the lane to Kogma and Kogma should be a scaling chain oh he's getting minion block right there doesn't matter though but the MMS is really coming in clutch here uh just because like this should be a somewhat even lane but now freezing the wave great this is what we love to see from real good players here freezing the lane most players don't ever freeze the wave so that's kind of impressive to watch going back to see how the junglers are doing at least is clearing the pink uh honestly has not found anything to gank and that's why she's so down in cs meanwhile ramus on the other hand Due to uh, the control from the top and mid side, he's been able to get basically uh, his jungle and uh, basically the crabs. I think they're positioning for the right now. They're positioning for the dragon here, uh, but it's hard to say. They're very low in mana on the bot side. They can't really help if a team fight occurs while team uh, blue on the other side can. Uh, but other than that, not much is going on here. Oh, wait a minute. In the top side, though, Flash is in, gets the kill. First blood, Trindamir. Burns the ghost. Got, didn't even need to burn ult. Now he's going to push this wave in, probably push the next wave in, back right after that. And this pretty much top side's kind of done at that point. Like, what can they do? Like, Trindamir, and, okay, going to the bot side. Good kill, taunt. Nori's protecting the Rambus right now from bot side. I don't know what. Oh, they're low. That's why they couldn't help. Rambus is dying here. Does he? Li oh, oh, the Kogma is about to get a triple kill here. He should just go in and take the next auto. Nice. And he lives from that. Now, this is a big swap. Both teams have had strong. Oh, actually, if you saw that uh, really quickly, MF did burn the ult to kill the minion wave so that they can guarantee the push so that uh, Twitch loses all the CS. Now, look at this gap. So now, both teams that have strong top and AD carries now are in an interesting position where Pooh's team should really focus on getting the trend to carry. Nobody's going to stop him. And honestly, he can probably beat everybody in a 1v2 of anything. On the other side, uh, they should be obviously focusing on the Kogma. Rambus just goes and, and goes on the Kogma, but he has no backup. He might die here, honestly. Uh, ooh, I don't know. Unless nobody has flashes here. And he'll actually kill. Oh, he's dead, though. He's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Yep, there it is. There's the Kogma passive. One of the weirdest abilities in the game. But, you know, proven to work. But uh, what I didn't notice is Trinity actually killed... Cho'Gath again, yeah, this top, say, top lane is done, but the bot lane for Team Blue is just working out well. It's just a matter of, can you play to your comp? And honestly, right now, even though the split push Trindamir is the better carry for most games, it's just most teams don't know how to play around the split push, so I'm afraid that I might have to give the edge to Team Blue right now, honestly. The gold lead is in their favor. They do have the Drake, so... It's very interesting because uh, watching their game one and two, they had really bad objective control. So maybe they fixed some things in their comp, their leadership. Who knows? 
Uh, but major CS leads in the top and jungle for Team uh, Pooh. On the other side, mid has been pretty even. I will note right now, if you look at the items, Lux has some boots completed. I, I don't understand why, honestly. It's not necessarily that important considering that they gave Ram is just just ults in toss and nice. They gave the kill to Trinomir. Yeah, I I think they're truly uh, believing to let Trinomir carry. Gets the Rift Herald, uses it to crash. Honestly, honestly, if I was them, I wouldn't have used it. I wouldn't use it top. I would use it. I would use the mid. If you can destroy the mid tower with it, you can b basically help alleviate what's going on in the bot lane right now. Good. Good. There's the Braum pick coming into use here. But still dies. The items are too strong right now on the Kogma. And if you just. Oh god. Oh no. If you look at Twitch's CS right here, he's at 38 to 79. That is ridiculous. I. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. This 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 80 carry has been really promising, but I guess just like bad decision making. Oh, and we're going to the top side. Trindamir going in. Actually, he's going to commit to this. Activates the ghost. He needs to activate ult now. Cho'Gath flashes randomly on him. He doesn't even have ult. He, uh, the Trindamir timer for his ult was still going to be up if he flashed him. I don't know what's going on. I think he might be tilted to Cho'Gath. Black Widow is just out of here man uh that's unfortunate they, they really need choke out to stay focused and make sure to make sure uh trend can't get any more cs from this uh but yeah it's it's kongma versus trendomir what will who will prevail in this battle because it's it, you got to be focusing on team fighting versus all this uh split pushing and yeah, at this point, with Trinimir having Kraken Slayer and Boots... Oh, what? He just sold... He went Gale Force! Okay, I... I... I, I like that. Gale Force is the better item here. Just in case. Uh, to guarantee some kills. Okay, uh... Honestly, I don't know if this... Oh, sh Oh, okay. I wasn't expecting Rambus to die right there. His W weared off. So, he lost all his stats for... To protect himself. And he kind of just died when it's almost time for... There he is. There's the vision control. Oh, Trinomir just went in on the Elise. He doesn't have ult. He really should just back out of this. Kogma was right there. Would have just killed him straight up. Yeah, don't take the blue boss, Trinomir. Okay, now Trin... Okay, here's... This is this is the issue that most League players have. It's like Trinomir is a split push champion. But right now, he thinks with his 4-0 lead that he can help his team. Yes, Drake is up, uh, not up, it's coming up, and he probably wants to help the team. But in reality is, you, he, he just needs to farm up more, be that late ca game carry monster, and just win it from the side lane. Like, you already missed the first Drake, you can't really do much now, just be an overwhelming presence where you just dominate the game. Uh, see, look, he's right now. He's looking to he's looking to make a gank here, and I don't know. Okay, uses the Rift Herald. What? Let he, now. There's MF here. He kind of just goes in randomly. Is this gonna work still? Oh my God! He lives from that. How? That that he lived with a sliver of health. That is lucky. But that, what a bad choice. Now he just gave basically. So he gave farm to Cho'Gath. He wasted his lead. So he's just stalling. On the other hand, if you look at Kogma, he's just getting objectives done right now. Ram is here to gank. He ults in. Doesn't know that at least he's been camping in this bush for the last minute, honestly. It flashes out, but they might just both die here. There goes the Ramus. There goes the Twitch. Oh, but at least took the kills there. Unlucky. But yeah, this I honestly I think this is just due to Trindamir not really realize. I, yeah, this is, I think this is a, a, a cause of concern right now. It seems like Team Pooh doesn't understand that their their comp really is focusing on the Trindamir to split push this game, and they're calling him to help. And yeah, they they're just losing on all fronts now. Uh, and now because of what of all that and Ram is not realizing at least has been bot side for the last minute He just they get dragon team blue gets the second dragon. It's ocean Drake. What are we gonna get for? Uh, 
Oh no, infernal, infernal soul. This, this is a, this because it causes a concern. Kongma is just gonna be able to melt. Lux is gonna poke great. MF is gonna poke great. Honestly, at least in Chogas' job is just to protect those two, uh, those three, and it should be done. Ramus, although he has easy access, he's just he just doesn't have it right now. Like he he was doing well in the early game, but like he just made some bad decisions trying to help bot lane and try to alleviate the issue when really. It's just you, you can't you shouldn't have been able to help them focus your focus on your carries But you know, this is a team game all of a sudden Malzahar dies. I'm sorry I did not capture that but you know he gets to kill the Ramus Kongma doesn't have enough speed because Ramus obviously is just too fast on this and Yeah gets out Okay, let's look at the scores right here uh Okay, Trinimir going in on the Cho'Gath. Cho'Gath guts the Q off, uses the Gale Force really early. I like that a little bit. Nice, dodges it. Pretty much gets the kill there. Now, on, honestly, now we should just look in the mid lane because we pretty much know Trinimir is going to get the kill on Cho'Gath. Unstoppable. They get the turn. Ram is just queuing in randomly, trying to block them off the wave. He's lucky the MF, the Lux missed the Q or else he would have died. Kogma is just getting free hits on the turret. Nothing they can do about it. Their comp is not built against this Kogma, which is the issue of why I mentioned about the Braum and the R Ramus. Because Ramus going in can sure taunt him, but he, Kogma has cleanse. Once he cleanses, he's out pretty much. And then the, the Malzahar is only really capable of stopping people like Trinomir, who's currently split pushing. But since he's on their side, there's no real split, real deep threats he can hold that's close. It doesn't matter. Uh, spending three teams here. Honestly, he just gets out with Ghost. He should be able to get out. Uh, yep, there it is. He dodges. He's out. Okay, at least flashes. This might be worth something here. Oh, the MF slow! Uh, the, okay. Now, I can, this is good. I at least try to get the last hit, but MF did get the final kill. And, you know, it's good for MF just because now she can get, uh, she can do some more damage with Infernal. Well, now the Kogma is te the Team Blue is getting Rift Herald. Uh, what is Red Team going to do? Honestly, you can notice they're not doing anything. Really, somebody should go to the bot side to get the farm at least. Come on, guys. Ugh. I, I don't know what's going on here. What What is Team Poo trying to do? You can see that Team Blue is coordinating. They're trying to work together. And team fight catch people off and you know that's that's their whole team comp that's what they built around from old's just disengaged uh, kind of okay honestly it's not like Kogma was there but you know he was probably scared that he could anybody else could have been up there actually at least did burn the rift handle to the top side I uh, giving more gold to the Kogma they're just gonna let it uh, just die after that yeah, okay, so it's pretty much a uh, stalemate right now. There's nothing going on here. Kogma is just a monster at this point. He has his Bork. He's probably going to get... I wouldn't get Kraken Slayer per se. I would just get the healing version just because he's not... He just needs to live. He, his, his kit can just do damage, right? Trader Bear is pushing on the top side again. Nobody's going to answer him, which is good. Ramus, they need to focus and not... These, okay... So if Team Blue wants to win, they should just focus on stalling the game a tad bit, get the objectives. Ramus just ults in randomly, pretty much is going to die once his W is over. Mousehar ults the... Okay, this is this is getting wild here. Okay, at least gets the kill on the, the Mousehar. Now they're going for the Twitch. Twitch could get the kill, although at least gets the stun, but it doesn't matter. The Lux and the MF just does damage over the wall. Braum pretty much is going to live after this. No, he gets stunned because he turned around. Don't turn around. And honestly, wow. They... And he did not need to flash that. But honestly, that... I think that... that this is this is worrisome now. But if you notice, that was a 4v4 without the Kogma under their turret. But... I think Ram is really messed up there. He, he he should have stalled a little bit, wait for his team to come and help him. But he decided to protect the turret, costing his own life. And then just because of the gold lead from there, Twitch Twitch can't do much. I mean, though Cho'Gath can't do much neither. At least he has to execute with the ult. So, oh my god. They pretty much... That was a, basically... A four for two. Because, I mean, Trinomir did kill the Kogma in the top lane. But... 
that's a cause of concern now we're here here we go we are now fighting for third drake one of the probably the most important ones right now considering the gold leaks only 3k lux randomly just walks up and does not die wow mouser heart ult was not available now Rambus just ults in randomly again he well, cleanses he pretty much is gonna live after this mouser heart gets his ult back Gets the kill on the lease. Junglers are dead. Rambus, no, wait, no, 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 no. Rambus, you need to live. You have to get, get the smite off. Trinomir going in on the Kong, goes in for the Kong, but gets the kill on the Kongma. Goes for the MF next, should get the kill there. Ease again, gets the W, and he has all hit it. This is a guarantee to shut down. Okay. Uh, but Chogat's here. Chogat did kill the Malzahar. And Rambus should get out. Now, Trinomir now getting the top in him. This is good. This is really good for the team. Now, if Rambus and Brom can honestly just get Dragon, they should try it. Honestly, you ha you need to make sure you can stall the game a little bit. Because if you can play correctly, you can uh, split push. You, are you have a huge threat. The inhib is cracked open. Somebody has to answer you no matter what. But no god. Rambus and Brom are taking too long on this. What Can, can Trinity make it in time? He clears the top. Looking to... Chilgat looking to kill here. Honestly not gonna do it. Okay, uses the gift force to get out, but how's the how's the drag? It's at two and a half K. Chogat's here. Does he doesn't have all the leases coming in? Who gets the smite battle? And Twitch gets it! Oh my god! The worst part about it is like I think both sides smited each other. If you look at their abilities, both no, at least he did not have smite. He probably used it on uh Trendomir earlier, but Ramus miss smited and smited a champion. Wow. Let, thank God Twitch was able to get it with his autos at ease. But now, because Rambus is dead and the bot lane for Team Poo is dead, we're going to actually have Team Blue get Baron. Which, honestly, is very it's very important for both teams here. Obviously, Baron is a, such a strong objective. But it helps force uh, Team Poo to react to the team fighting. And, yeah, there it is. Now, it's a 4k gold lead. 4k gold lead, and obviously most of the gold is on the Kogma. He has his two items. He probably has so much more money in saved in the bank. Chogat's kind of useful now, sort of. He's got his Thorn Mail. He's not going to have Thorn Mail yet. So until he can get that, he's not going to be able to apply healing reduction as well, which is only for the Trinomir. And quite honestly, maybe Thornmail wasn't even the right option because he's. I, if I was him, I would be trying to help the team. I would be trying to get something like, I don't know, something more passive like a Frozen Heart, something more just to protect the Kogma, uh, even like you know Banshee, any, you know, well anything to help the Kogma carry this game. He is your win condition. Protect the backline. MF just randomly just randomly just dies, kind of. Trent, and you know what? That's pretty good for Team Poo. They close the fight. Oh, what is what? At least just all of a sudden decides to walk up, test the waters, and basically gets Ramus ulted, Malzahar ulted. Team Blue kind of throwing this barely. Now they have three K. Now Team Poo's three K. They don't really have the necessary people to protect. Ramus uh, decides to die for turret. Uh, uh, that's questionable, questionable. Trinomir going to the bot lane. Oh, just, uh, no, he's stealing red buff. Honestly, not a bad idea. I, I would just kind of, honestly, they don't have the best way to win a 4v3 here, quite honestly. Especially if Brom just kind of just goes in. Now Burns randomly old. Can't really do it. Trinomir here going in for the Kogma. Brom gets the Q, actually. The Kogma should die here. Trinomir going in on the oh nice gets the kill there twitch randomly flashes in on the Lux and honestly with just Kraken Slayer at 24 minutes yeah you can't do anything but this Trinomir like I said it's gonna have to be the main reason why they're carrying now my only concern is he's trying to be the assassin try to come in on the Kogma but like the only reason why that was able to work so well is because one Kogma wasn't willing to burn cleanse and two, the, the Brom somehow got his Q or auto off on the Kogma. So it kind of allowed them to win that fight. But the next objective is going to be harder. And Trinomir doesn't have Ghost. And it's it's going to be rough for them. Unless Trinomir focus on pushing 
some lanes. Uh, I'm, I'm quite disappointed right now that he's only pushed the lanes a few times. And when he's pushing, more importantly, uh, Team Poo is not playing back. They are forcing things, which basically causes a, now all the pressures on Trinomir. There's no pressure on Team Blue. Team Blue knows what they have to do. They just have to play, you know, play together and win. The team Pooh has so much more on this Trinomir where if he dies, he's he's the life force of Team Pooh right now. He he dies, the whole team dies. There's nothing that team can do because Twitch doesn't have a second item. What is Kogma? Look, oh my, look at Kogma. He has Ronduins. He now Trinomir is not gonna have an easy time to kill him. This really should tell Trinomir just focus on split pushing. If the four people die, at least he could potentially get Nexus. That is should be the thought process. Th this is why I was scared of this team comp, just because split push comps have been so out of the meta that you most teams don't know how to play it sure one person like the trinomir might know how to play it but does his rest of the team know i don't know and here we go we're now going to be going for competing for control of dragon now looking at both sides only the kogma has a pink this is a concern considering this is very important right now kogma Ooh, going. Ramus randomly goes in here. Brom gets the ult off, hits the Cho'Gath. Doesn't matter though. Trinidad, the real carry, is not here. And it's it's so far somewhat even. Kogma's now getting free hits. Gets hit hard by the Trindamir. And Brom gets out from Cho'Gath. Trindamir basically gonna clean up here. Somehow, some way, this game has swapped two team. Poo! Basically acing the team. Dragons up. Trinomir could just push this wave. Get the turret. Get the in him turret. And get in him. And get dragon. The gold lead has dropped from 4k as even up here. This is such a big turn of events. And honestly, I think it's just because of the mispositioning of team blue they got stuck in the corridor and re allowed rambus and brom to get their ults off and trindomir was able to just barely get there in time and get the other stuff now trindomir should just focus on getting out cash in but okay they have both in hips cracked open baron will come up soon what trindomir should be focusing on is getting the bot turret oh he goes in on the mf gets the kill gets gets you the e somehow the back of the e kills the mf smites no trindomir trindomir you're not doing it right that that's that, okay, I honestly think with Trinomir dead and MF died for also died. It's definitely in blue team's favor What can what can team poo do? Honestly nothing and you can tell because they're all running to Baron the, At least they might be both equal in levels for smite Which is somewhat of a concern where Rambus could steal he has free access to it because he can obviously ult in to steal Baron but Knowing Kogma, they have all the damage. Plus, they have a Cho'Gath who does... Oh, he doesn't even have ult. What? That That's weird. Uh, Pink Ward goes down for Rammus. He's going to have to look to smite this. We're going to have to see how well he smites this here. At 4k, 3.9. 3 They're playing it slow. Kogma... Rammus goes in. It's going to be a smite battle here. It's a 100 health. Oh, my God. Rambus did not smite correctly. He smited way too early, hoping that they would fail. Oh, a Twitch unluckily. He he basically went in. Malzahar ulted the wrong target. He really was trying to aim for the Cho'Gath, probably. And basically, the gold lead has swing back to Team Blue. 2k up, and all because Trindamir got... This is the problem. He he was feeling too, he was feeling himself too much. He had so many kills, so many items. He thought he could just wipe out the team by himself, and he made the mistake. Went in, cost the team Baron. Now what they have to do is react, and you know honestly, whoever uh, even trying to be split pushes here. All they have to do is just let the Baron minions do their thing. It's going to be harder for Trinomir to uh, push the wave. And now we're back to a somewhat of a stalemate. Drake's 
I don't think Drakes are going to matter as much now just because we're at 30 minutes into the almost 30 minutes into the game. Whoever gets Drexel would be at 40 minutes. That's going to be a long time for now. It's not even an elder. Tredemir looks for the available Lux here. Gets the W. Gets the slow. Gale forces a little too early, I will admit. Gets the kill. At least not getting out of this. Brombert's ult and gets the kill. Tredemir now uses ult. He doesn't. Oh, he used ult way too early. I misspoken there, and now Brom dies. Okay, so what does this mean right now? This means that with Twitch on the top side, uh, Team Blue will be forcing it down mid to try to get in him. And honestly, what can uh, Team Pooh can't really do much. They have a Malzahar, they have a Ramus, and guess what? Kogma is actually levels ahead of both of them. He has a Rondowins, he has a Bork. He's un he's basically unkillable right now. Nobody in this team can do damage. Yep, and now they will just secure the turret. Uh, Ramus just goes in randomly with ult, but you know, it stalls the time a little bit, I guess. Uh, no nothing honestly to do here, but I guess he's told enough for in him to, um, for the rest of his team to spawn to defend the in him. Actually, probably a good move, I didn't realize. And yeah, Team Blue gets it back out, but they have now a 4k gold lead. Uh, honestly, Kogma is at his strongest point. He has his Ronduins, he has his Bork, he has Immortal Shield Bow. I don't know what he's going to get here. He goes for the Ginsu's. Yep, this is going to hit like a truck. Oh no, what's going on over here? I didn't realize he decided to go in. Trinimir kind of throwing the game here, gets the kill, but he dies, and you know, if he dies, pretty much they, what, they can't do anything. They honestly can't do much from here on out. No objectives at least, but you're basically just, you know, wasting your time. This is why I... Okay, as a person who advocates for being able to play many roles and should be able to understand how to play those roles, I'm disappointed right now that the Trinomir is, it feels like his, oh my god, the Lux ult basically just killed the Twitch. Yep, that, there's the burn from the Andres, gets the kill, MF dies, Ram is gonna die though, cause Kama is just hitting like a truck. Uh, at least flashes, makes the mistake, flashes in, gets killed. Nope, nope. I thought the Thor, I thought Rambus the Thorman would have killed the Elise, but doesn't. Oh my god. Okay, so both teams now have an opening to the opponent's base. So all it takes is one team fight for the team to lose. Uh, now, don't, both in hims are available for Team Pooh. On the other hand, the mid in hims available for. Uh, team Blue. Now, as teams stack up for this third drink, honestly, as. Honestly, if I was Team Pooh right now, don't even worry about the Drake. It's not that important. It's third Drake. It doesn't matter. You can't beat a Cho'Gath who can smite it. But Tridimir, again, wasting his time. He's wasting his time here. He needs to push the split lanes. Nobody can answer him except now now because because of his past mistakes the only people who can stop Trinomir is capable of stopping with just two people Kogma and Lux Kogma with anybody who can slow the Trinomir down ex except MF she can't doesn't have hard CC but now there's an answer to Trinomir but you if Trinomir does that at least he can take away the main damage from Kogma but the Lux and the MF proving to be real resourceful with their damage while Malzahar is and Twitch just lacking? If you notice on the item sheet right now, Twitch doesn't even have a second item. Look at Kogma, he has four items. What I he needs to get he's at 100 CS. He's he is lacking, he's slacking, he is whacking. And you know, this is probably what he's doing. Turning me here, just sitting around doing absolutely nothing. I am disappointed. Uh, you, you can't be doing this. I really if you really wanted to win you would try to i i would send twitch to help the, get the baron baron is coming up soon uh, tp was forced trading just trying to eat over the wall why would you even consider you can't kill the chogath under turret unless twitch helps you yep there it is no ults were burned but twitch and burn ult okay so now we have the top side this is why you had to split push to make sure that uh, Team Blue couldn't get the objectives. Now they can just crack this, uh, crack this turret. Trinimir, even though he's backy, he probably can't do much here. Uh, you know, it Lux, Lux Elise, 
and MF. Basically gonna protect the Kogma here. He has cleanse. What can he do? Flashes, but Kogma flashes. MF randomly oh, it's not that great of an old. It's kind of a stalemate right now. It's all on Trindamir and Kogma. The the Trindamir has all his stuff while Kogma burned flash. Uh I would not use that thing. You're gonna need that to smite Baron. Okay, so here's the cause of concern you have a chill gas yes he was not useful in the top lane oh my god twitch you can't be getting randomly hit by that he has to go heal off the minions and honestly it's not going to heal much with 34 health but Cho'Gath will steal, will always, okay, well, with the Execute probably now, what's, we, we can check actually how much he does. With his ult feast, he can now do 1250. That's pretty much, a, he will beat all smites. Ah, uh, water break. So, yeah, if we got to focus on this Trendomir. He... He is now running to the inhib. Honestly, Lux and Cho'Gath are the only ones backing and probably can't really stop him. But at the same time, we have Kogma uh, and Elise pushing this. Twitch gets free access, smacking the staff out of the Elise. Braum obviously randomly walking up. Mousehar walking up randomly. Uh, doesn't have ult. Uh, dies. Ram is now going in. He doesn't have ult. He doesn't have flash. What is he going to do? He's going to Q forward. And does MF slow him enough? He doesn't slow enough. The Thornmail will kill. That's waste of a cleanse. You really needed that. Ram is now going to get free access to the MF. And this is the problem when you have to split towards when you replace the oh wow he burned flash big mistakes by the cameras both sides combo wasting uh flash there while well, trimmer wasting flash that was the problem they decided to set the lux and cho'gath to stop the trinomir and it's a concern just because you know that if that means only elise and mf mf doesn't have any hard cc uh, here we go. Rambus is just gonna hold down the Cho'Gath and let the two carry here. But they need to focus on the Cho'Gath. They need to focus. The bear is killing Twitch. Oh my god. Mousehorn might die here. He's, he's gonna die randomly from one of the Baron hits. At least it's coming here at 2.3k. He might be able to smite this. It's all or nothing right here. 10k, 900, 800, 700. At least gets the Baron. Terrible objective control. What was Twitch doing? Twitch was just hitting Baron when really, like, when Rambus had full CC of the Cho'Gath, should be hitting the Cho'Gath, and this Twitch is really holding this team down. Now, because of the Baron, Team Blue gets also... Twitch is dead, you know, all five, basically four and four for the Drake, but they're there first because Rambus had to go back and heal. And he's backing now. He was clearing the mid wave. He's not going to make it in time. This is Infernal Soul almost. Unless Trinomir somehow like gets a funny and he doesn't because, you know, he's focusing on helping the team. He needs to go on eject his dragons up. Rambus is actually kind of almost there. He has old. He could get there in time. I don't know, it's gonna, it could be close. Rambus ults in a little too early. Everybody focusing on the Rambus. His W's about to wear off, and he should be getting destroyed here, but Trinomir kills the Lux. Going on on the lease now. Going to kill her. She get no, she gets stacked by the Brom Q. Dies. Mouser ults the car, but slows him enough. Trinomir does... No! Trinomir dies! The MF ult actually stops it. Kogma lives with, like, 100 health, and, but Rambus is able to scare the Drake. They did now stall... Infernal Soul, that's great. Both teams are somewhat even. It's now 71 to 68k. Uh, honestly, it doesn't matter as much right now for Team Blue because their carries have all the items they need. Death Cap, Ludens are on Lux. Kogma has all the items he needs. MF has all the offensive items she needs. On the flip side though, you would notice that Trindamir's full build, great, but the gold lead, what's more important to look is Twitch. Twitch only has two and a half items. As the game goes on, he's going to become more useful. And the way games, these fights are a bit close. Rambus just goes in to hoping Twitch can make it in time. Ults, Twitch un unleashes, gets the kill. Rambus should, if he has W, he should. Nope, doesn't have W, just has the Qs, dies. Okay, so we'll notice that also. I think also another important thing to note is the ejective control by Team Blue. Uh, it's been questionable just because they had Baron and they weren't able to use it. Uh, right now, 
Uh, Kogma's dead. They should... Team Pooh should be really trying to force anything here. Their carries is gone. Evan is honestly, even though a support is a carry, uh, to get triggered gets spotted. He should really be focusing on this top wave that is kind of meeting its match. Trinity are looking to execute somebody. Gets caught by another ward right there. The vision here is just, just questionable right now. Like, if you notice that Team uh, Team Pooh has focused their objective control on the bot side, which they now just put Twitch on there, which is a little late, to be honest. They're now coming to respawn, protecting the turret. Trinidad just took red buff, but, like, he's absolutely just not taking his lead. This is really disappointing. With both top laners were looking promising. Black Widow, sure. Uh, failed to do uh, failed the early game but has made up for it for his objective control focusing on protecting the team while uh, so uh, the Trinidad who has been a uh, big carry although he did get the early game lead he's just not doing anything with it on the flip side Kogma has been a huge carry uh, and Tr Twitch has just got his third item Kogma has been sick you know completed like, this is a concern, like, it honestly feels like Tipu has been lucky on these fights. Just because, like, Trinity has been making mistakes. Oh, he just used his E. He gets slowed down. A lot of people are up here. He gets out. The good choice. Uh, but honestly, right now, what both teams could be looking for is for its soul. <coughs> More importantly, Team Blue's looking for soul, but really, Trinity should... Yeah, here we go. There's no he just there's a ward there. They should have noticed that there's everybody left Chogat. Trinity Bear going in. He should be able to secure this, but look at that, all that tankiness on Chogat. Smacking him with Ugly oh, lethal tempo. He's still going in. Doesn't get hit by the Q. Does he have enough time? Because the blue side is coming in. It's not hitting. Oh, he gets hit by the he gets tagged with the Lux Q. Is he gonna get out? He gets out. Uh MF burns heal. I think she believes she can just get an E and an ult off to kill him. And honestly, that will be enough. Uh, guesses incorrectly. And she's still going to hunt him down. Yep, there it is. Now, she has, she could kill, but Trinibir with that red buff is just healing so much that I don't think it doesn't matter anymore. She can't do it. On the flip side, MF is just now mispositioned, trying to push the top lane. It could get cornered by the Bravo Ramus. If not, the Trinibir is also coming. Dead! Uh, yeah, Fukor is, uh, for MF, has been, has questionable positions from game one and now to this game. Really causing a concern. It's really tight right now, 76 to 76 K. The gold leads have been flippity floppity, and now the Drake is up. Almost up, as well as Baron. What will both teams decide to do? Honestly, even though, uh, uh, souls have been always important in League since its, uh, debut, uh, Baron should be the focus here. If I was Team Poo, I would put Trinimir on the Drake, and I would put uh, everybody else on Baron. They get in him here, questionable, just because they now kind of business it, and Trinimir has to be forced to burn ult. Rob uses ult to get everybody out. I think he can get out if he just Ws on time. Gets the Q, gets smited, at least burn smite, that means she has one charge left. Gets stunned, Rob is going to get CC, can he jump to the ramp at time? He does, he holds the E up. Does Chogat get one more Q off? It's all about her. Chogat, nope, it doesn't matter. He's there just too fast. They get out, but the Baron's up. Drake's up. And, you know, Trinibir's low. He can heal a little bit off. and But he doesn't have ult. This, uh, okay, they get the soul, but uh, Trinibir dies for it. T Twitch has to flash out. Rambus ults in, goes for the Kogma. Dies randomly for that. And honestly, with this... Right now, a 5v3, even with Infernal Soul, they could just force mid and end the game, or they can just get Baron and slow and like slowly bleed them out. But honestly, with a 5v3 right here, they should just end the game here. What can Twitch, what can Malzahar do? Malzahar is too short range. It gets attacked by the Lux ult, doesn't really matter. But Twitch can't really do much here. With three items and like everybody protecting the Kogma, this is pretty much game right here. Oh no. That what a throw by Trindamir. And just Rambus just like not focusing on what they need to do. Chogath going in on the Twitch. He didn't get killed by the Twitch. Rom dies. Malzahar dies. At least Zonia's. Kogma is now just ending the game. GG for Team Blue. What a game. Honestly, with so much back and forth, I really thought it could have been anybody, but it proved that.
you know, most teams just don't know how to play the split push comp with Trindamir. And I'm, hey, but, you know, good props for both teams hard fighting, but congrats to Team Blue for winning this. Uh, amazing game by Wartimes McCree. He, he played it up. He honestly, and also, to just under under note we have to talk about fox shroud fox shroud didn't play so much of a factor uh, in terms of presence but always protecting the kongma with the q uh protect them and then w i think she was like the the sidekick to this whole story so but congrats to team blue for winning this game